Good morning all, and it's my pleasure to represent Christian Medical College Vela uh, in this uh, public health conference. I am Bina, and I'm a professor of development in pediatrics. And the topic that I will uh, um, cover today is uh, an evaluation that we have done in the community regarding home environment. Home environment, short-term trends and predictors in early childhood from an Indian birth cohort. And uh, part of a large team, including uh, uh, members from Welcome Research Unit, Community Health, and the Low Cost Effective Care Unit at CMC Web. Uh, why did I go about evaluating home environment? Uh, early childhood home environment is intricately linked to child development and later cognitive skills. If you all um, understand how children are early on, most of the time they spend at home rather than anywhere outside. So optimal uh, home environment is important to have a good uh, early childhood development and that is shown to have effect on later cognitive skills as well. So there is limited literature evaluating home environmental trends and predictors in the low middle income country uh, settings. And that is why we uh, embarked on this current study to determine the trends of early childhood home environment at 6, 24, and 36 months of age and their predictors. So what was the methodology that we utilized? Um, it was a longitudinal community-based birth co cohort follow-up study. And this was conducted in a semi-urban slum in Velo, South India. And the subjects, um, uh, uh, the subjects were uh, uh, recruited by consecutive sampling between March 2010 and February 2012, and we have subsequently followed these children at different time points. So what was the outcome measure we utilized? It was the home environment was objectively assessed using the home observation for the measurement of the environment that also is known as home. And the home scale uh, was utilized for the study and we analyzed the predictors. Uh, coming to the uh, results, uh, the uh, the birth cohort uh, enrolled originally 251 children, that is at birth, and we had a follow-up of 235 children and 228 and 218 children at 6, 24, and 36 months respectively. And uh, when we evaluated home over time, actually home did not differ, the whole overall score did not differ between 6, 24, and 36 months. But when we looked at the subdomains, as expected, let's say the, the play pattern of the children improved over time because children are becoming you know, bigger and their interaction improved over time. The availability of toys improved over time. Um, but there are other factors which actually worsened over time and that is also as expected. Uh, uh, Indian parents uh, do punish children. So punishment and all those behaviors actually, you know, worsened in the six to 36 months. And also the cleanliness of the child, like, so that was also another component of home that also worsened over time. And what was the single biggest predictor for home score? At each time point, social economic status was the biggest predictor. And if you look at the correlation coefficient at six months, it was 0.244. And at 24 months, it was 0.462. And at 36 months, it, has, it was 0.563. So that shows actually the SES was a sing as the biggest predictor and it was increased that the strength was increasing over time. When uh, the socioeconomic status was evaluated using a score known as VAMI, which is already published, it looks at the uh, um, water and sanitation, uh, looked at assets and maternal education and, uh, uh, and the uh, income of the family. And out of all these factors, the maternal education predicted the home environment at 24 and 36 months. So uh, if we understand in, in our settings, as, as in most other uh, settings worldwide, mother is the primary caregiver and the, their education and their well-being predicted the home environment. If I may go a little bit more into the home environment, home environment has two large components. One is a physical component, you know, what are the physical things that are available in the home environment? And the second one actually is the emotional component. 
emotional component or the relational component is the one where how the caregiver or other members of the family relate to the child. And studies have shown that the relational environment can override the physical environment. That means even if the uh, physical environment is quite sparse, like uh, toys and other uh, uh, play materials are not available, the individuals can actually have a fun time or a play time with the child and positive interaction that can overrule the difficulties in the physical environment. That is quite uh, encouraging for a lot of our mothers and for a lot of us researchers to understand that, that some of these can override. So not surprisingly, our, our findings again show that maternal factors, including education and depression, affect the home environment. Education positively affected the home environment, while depression negatively affected home environment at six and 24 months. So overall, when we are looking at uh, socioeconomic status, uh, including uh, uh, what, what is a physical status, the income status, as well as the maternal factors, um, such as education and depression, and uh, affected the home environment. I didn't go into further details of the assets bit. Even uh, assets increased over time, and the number of physical assets also contributed to the overall change in the home environment. When we sub-analyze this, we realize actually that was actually intricately linked to the number of toys or the number of play things that the child has access to. And again, it is not a, a surprising finding knowing what we find in the community itself. So coming to the conclusion, uh, socioeconomic status and maternal factors consistently predicted the early childhood environment at 6, 24, and 36 months of age and has changed over time. So what we understand from this is socioeconomic status is important. At the same time, it's important to support maternal education and well-being, along with a lot of effort, efforts we take to improve socioeconomic status so that we can optimize early childhood home environment. Thank you all for your patient listening.